there is a new training lab at Macomb Community College and it's giving nurses and nursing students a look at some real life experience. Our Nick Monticelli shows us the goal behind this lab and how it's helping nurses get trained quicker than ever before. Hi Kay, my name's Elise. I'm going to be taking care of you today. Peek inside this training lab at Macomb Community College and it looks like a hospital room real equipment, real instruments, and real life-like patients. Are you having any shortness of breath or anything? This is Macomb's Human Simulation Lab, where dummies can talk, breathe, have strokes, give birth, and more. But students like Elise Vinson have to treat these like real people. The pressure feels like a real patient because that patient's telling you like something's wrong, I can't breathe, and the monitors are going off. This part right here is our control room. It's very Wizard of Oz-esque. The dummies are controlled by an instructor. They can sit up, they can blink, their eyes, which is part of my favorite, um, so we can give them bloodshot eyes, we can give them jaundice. There's a few goals behind Macomb's human simulation lab. Can you tell us where you are, Mr. Jim? The first is to better prepare students like Iman Hamed before they see real patients. Like I'm doing an internship right now, and there's a lot of stuff that I learned here that like kind of like eased me into it. So when I got out there, like it kind of like gets the wheels like moving in your head, you know, like, okay, I've seen this before. I know what to do. Second, they're working on communication skills. So once we get you up and ambulating, um, or up, I'm sorry, once we get you up and walking. And the third goal, get them into the field working faster, especially with the current nursing shortage. Andrea Shaw is the associate dean overseeing the program and says they have been able to shorten teaching time. It gets them into the field and practicing sooner and more competently right away. Uh, in the olden days, they were practicing right away, but it was a lot of on-the-job training. We get feedback from our clinical agencies now that students are basically hitting the ground running with less training than ever. Hi, Emmy. How are you feeling today? I don't feel good. Kaylin Post is studying to be a respiratory therapist and says this lab made her real patient fears and anxieties a lot less a lot less. Um, you know, we have an important job um, that, you know, their care relies on us. So I think there's always going to be a bit of nerves when you're brand new at anything. I leave SimLab sweaty and scared every time um, because I don't, I think about it, what if this was my family member? Occasionally we do kill a patient, which is sort of controversial. Um, some Sim Labs will say you're not supposed to do that, but if a student makes a mistake, we want them to see what's actually going to happen to that patient. And that's the point. Let these students learn now before mistakes are made when real lives are on the line. In your head, you have to tell yourself, like, this is real, like a real situation. Like, in my head, it's real. And I'm thinking, like, OK, what do I got to do to keep my patients safe? In Clinton Township, Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News Today. Mm. It's so great that they have such lifelike training. Totally, and you just have this great appreciation for the students that are choosing such an important profession.